start flooring it, we drop it, probably drop it twice. You hear how loud it gets? And then you shift and it's back to normal, right? Welcome back to BJP Lifestyle, guys. I hope you're having a great day. If you're new here, make sure you click the subscribe button down below right now to be notified when new videos go live. New videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 3 p.m. here on the channel. And of course, check out Shop Lifestyle. Get yourself some lifestyle merch. Today, guys, we're gonna be hopping in though. We're gonna go on the, the POV again. This is probably like the third time in a week. We might as well change the channel to BJ POV, which is gonna be the OnlyFans, of course, which is never never mind. But uh yeah, my shoes are matching my uh my calipers and, and whatever, I kind of co color coordinated that. Yeah, we're gonna hop inside and we're gonna talk about how to use the paddle shifters because I had made a previous video which was how to drive in manual mode in your car, but now I have the paddle shifters so I wanna do an updated one and show you guys with the paddle shifters because people were asking. With the paddle shifters, it's a lot of fun and uh, yeah, you, especially with the intake and the exhaust, can make a lot of noise out of my Jeep so it's, it's fun. So I'm at the standard uh, secret location that I've always filmed at. And I'm gonna use this little strip here to kind of get a little bit of footage and then maybe we'll take it out on the road, but I'll show you guys the basics and some things you should do, some things you shouldn't do. So let's go ahead and hop right into that now. All right, so once you're in your car and you got your paddle shifters here, these are the SRT ones, so they're a little bit longer. You guys might have like shorter ones, but uh, yeah, if you have the SRT ones, then they'll be bigger. If not, then whatever. But basically your paddle shifters are back here, obviously. If you've never used these and you're afraid to use them, then uh, hopefully this video gives you a little bit of information and you can play around with them and get a little bit more comfortable. Now, like I said, if you have an intake or an exhaust or anything like that it's gonna be a lot more fun because you can be able to get some downshifts and get some sound out of your car or your Jeep if you want to say that now the first thing is obviously you have to put it into drive down here now there's two ways that you can activate your paddle shifters so the first way is gonna be taking your hand down here and clicking over to manual mode now you'll be able to activate the paddle shifters you can see there the number is changing if I lean in you can see that it goes from two to one uh, and you're good to go there. Now if you click back over to drive, you're back in drive. So that's one way to activate it, and then the other way is gonna be right here. You just tap your uh, upshift here, and your right one, and it will activate, and manual mode will be engaged. Hold right paddle to exit, so obviously to exit, to turn it off, you just hold down the right, right paddle shifter, and it will uh, exit and put you back into normal drive mode. All right, so that's kind of the basic of how to enable it. Now, basically the different things of what it is. So your left side is gonna be your downshift, and your right is gonna be your upshift. So I put it in a manual mode, you can see if I press the right one, it's gonna go up to two. If I press the left one, it's gonna go down to one and I think you can only go up to two. A lot of people worry and they stress when they're using paddle shifters or manual mode in an automatic car, but there's so many fail safes to stop you from burning out or ruining your transmission or anything else. So uh, yeah, you see if I go to two here, it's gonna tell me that it's shift not allowed because I'm at too low of RPMs and I'm not at a high enough speed. So you could start in one. Um, a lot of people say to never start in first or like you don't even need to ever be in first. You could just be in second. You can see we can get going in second uh, and we'll start rolling. So. Um, you see you just drive and it, it'll go and then you can tap up to go higher um, Basically, you're just working with the rpms over here and you can play with it and see so you feel the engine braking a lot more when you're doing this So if I do this and I slow down and I downshift to first which like a lot of people say to never do because you feel how clunky that is and how like you probably can't see it on camera maybe but uh it just feels very very clunky and just not good so as you see here we're turning around in third but then you watch here if i start to floor it and then drop down one into second so the rpm shooting it kind of gets torquey now that kind of like shows you a little bit of like i don't have the most room here to do it but basically what it does is when you're in manual mode it's gonna give you the ability to obviously pick which gear you wanna be in. So you can do things like downshifting there where when you're flooring it and the RPMs are going up to right around 3K or so, and then you hit that downshift, what's gonna happen is the RPMs are gonna go even higher because you're at a higher RPM in that lower gear, if that kind of makes sense. So basically, you're gonna go into those higher RPMs, which is where you get more sound. Now, if you're using sport mode down here, you're gonna get even more sound out of it because it's gonna open up a lot more. So if you're just driving in, say I'm just cruising in, uh, in drive mode here watch and i'm gonna go down here turn around and come back and you're gonna see that when i activate the uh the drive mode here it's gonna or when i activate the paddle shifter when i turn around and do it kind of quick so we can maintain a little bit of speed here so you see we're going about 15 when i activate it it'll show you what we're in you see we're in third right now going about 28 30. Um, going up a hill, um, if you're in automatic mode, you're towing something and you need that extra torque, you can downshift it and get into those higher RPMs, which is going to give you a little bit more power to actually pull through. Um, if you guys are stuck, like in the snow or something like that, being able to uh, go into manual mode and select which gear you want to be in so you can keep it at a lower, uh, a lower gear and kind of get that more power to get you out a little bit slower um, is going to be really helpful. 
there's just a lot of different things you can do with it but overall like i said the reason that i got it and the reason that most people have them or use them or they put them in srts and track hawks and different cars that are fun and loud and lamborghinis and stuff like that is because of the ability to downshift and being able to control like where you are which gear you're in how much power you're getting the torque the sound you know overall just everything so if i go ahead and head out on a main road over here uh, you guys will see that it actually really can like rip if you're like flooring it and you downshift you'll see the torquiness like kind of push me back a little bit and you'll see that the uh, power kind of picks up a lot All right, so we're gonna go on our typical little drive here uh, where we normally go. You see, we're up to like 50 here. Um, I'm put in sport mode so that we can hear it a little bit better and have a little bit more aggressive steering. Once we get around this bend over here, I'll do a little pull if there's no traffic or anything that's going to be risky or unsafe. All right, so now we tap into auto mode. You see we're in fifth there. But if we really want to get on it here, you can see, watch the RPMs on the left here. See, they're barely going up, right? So we're not getting all that low end power or that high end power that we want. So start flooring it. We drop it, probably drop it twice. You hear how loud it gets? And then you shift and it's back to normal, right? So that's what I mean when you can like get that higher end power by dropping a gear or two and that's gonna shoot your RPMs up and basically that's gonna give you all that torque and power that you want out of it because uh, these, at least with these Jeeps, they tend to be very, very quiet and not very aggressive at lower RPMs. Um, they kind of have to get up there before you kind of hit that like power band kind of level. You see here. Right around like 4k almost it seems that it like starts to yell a little bit and kind of pick up and like throw you back just a tiny bit so again if we are in fifth here just driving around 40 50 miles an hour um, you're just kind of cruising between like it sees between like 2 and 3k rpms normally your auto would probably be shifting you around here if you're not in sport mode but then if you drop it down drop it down two you see we're just we're cruising like right away and it makes really loud noise it's really fun for like going under some uh some bridges stuff like that so there's definitely a lot of fun to be had with it but obviously like i said it does have some purpose to it now uh this video is probably gonna be titled something like never do these things when driving with paddle shifters and one of those things is going to be like i said earlier about dropping down to first gear you don't really need to um, for me like if i'm driving in traffic or anything i usually just keep it in auto mode i only tend to use the paddles if i'm kind of driving on an open road like that where there's no one around and i can just kind of have fun um for the most part or if i'm going under like a tunnel or something like that i'll tap them on and then downshift a little bit and floor it and just give it some give it some noise with the air intake and the uh, exhaust it makes a pretty good note uh, at those higher rpms so you know that's why you kind of want to tap into those but overall there's not much use for it besides like that having fun or actually having some practical use to it like like i said if you're going up a hill when you're towing or you're doing something like that where it might actually be needed to hit that torque and that power to get you over an obstacle or a hill or whatever um, but other than that it, when you're just driving around day to day most people aren't just using paddle shifters i mean maybe you are if you're driving in like a lamborghini or something you know if you're in the lambo then you're probably going to be using the paddle shifters a little bit more uh, but for the most part it's just for fun and for sound if you're driving on a jeep like that uh, or like i said if you actually have a use for it all right so i figured i'd go over a very very basic breakdown here before we end the video because there's definitely going to be some people that are going to uh comment down below and say this is awful for your transmission this is going to ruin your car this is going to destroy your transmission uh, stuff like that because there's all those kinds of people uh but for the most part it's safe in a uh especially in an automatic car like this that's uh primarily automatic and then you just have some paddles or you have the manual mode down here it's going to be fairly safe for you um unless you're beating on it and you have that thing bouncing off of red line or you have it in six seven k all the time at low rpms just floored that might mess up your transmission a little bit because you're putting so much extra stress or if you're braking with your engine only and not using your actual brake and just using like the engine braking of like downshifting and stuff like that then i mean other than that you're not really going to have issues with your transmission for the most part any more than if you're just driving in normal drive mode so 
obviously if you're beating on it and you're not just shifting at a decent time and you know only using it sometimes then yeah you might if you're beating it but it's the same thing with anything if you're flooring it all the time you're putting the same amount of stress on it and you're putting the same amount of kind of pressure on your transmission where something could go wrong and something could break um, if you're shifting at like two to three k rpms around and you're just driving around normally shifting or right around the normal time that your automatic transmission would be shifting then you're gonna be perfectly fine um i know it's a lot more uh kind of in your head it's kind of a mental thing of like like you think you're gonna ruin it or you think you're gonna do something wrong or whatever it's the same thing with learning anything but it's super basic and I, I assure you guys that you'll be fine and you'll be able to pick up on it fairly quickly um, but if you guys have any questions down below make sure you let me know in the comments section and I'll try and reply to all of them and uh, hopefully answer some of your questions but yeah for the most part it's basically just up and down two to three K RPMs is when you're gonna wanna shift if you're just driving around normally. If you're trying to downshift and hit some higher RPMs, then that's where you're gonna get that power and torque and you're gonna get more control out of your engine. Uh, that's pretty much all that you really need to know about the uh, about the paddle shifters and how to drive with them So hopefully it helped but let's roll the outro now If you did enjoy the video or you got any helpful information out of it Make sure you smash that like button down below right now Help the YouTube algorithm help this video get out to more people and of course help the channel grow If you're new here and you're not already subscribed make sure you click that subscribe button down below right now To be notified when new videos go live there are new videos every Monday Wednesday and Friday at 3 p.m Here on the channel and of course check out shop lifestyle get yourself some lifestyle merch. Thanks for watching guys. Peace I am losing